Hey, this is Team from Legit Tech Tutorials, and uh, welcome back to beginning uh, assembly. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit more arithmetic. We're going to do some um, multiplication. All right, so first thing that we're going to want to do is give me one second. I screwed something up here. Ah, there we are. Okay. So what we're going to first want to do is mount C. Mount C, C8086, um, C, edit. And then what you're going to come up with this, do file, save as, and then do uh, multi ASM. So call it mold.asm. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you're going to see a lot of stuff that uh, you've already seen. So it's basically almost identical to uh, addition to do multiplication. Ooh, that would have been an error. Okay, and then we're going to have two variables, x and y, and those are going to be declare, ooh, that would have been another error there. Those are going to both be words, declare words, so those declare byte, declare words, declare by is 8 bits, and declare word is 16 bits. Whoa, going a little bit fast here. Going way too fast. Okay, so here we're outputting message. We're outputting the first message to uh, enter in a value. Okay, and then we're gonna do move AH. So this is a read character. 21H, we're uh, stripping the ASCII from that character so we can work with it. Uh, we're going to move X to A low, because A uh, move A low into X, because A low is where we, when we read the character, which is 1H, 1H is the hex um, command to read character. It's going to pop up in our A low, and we're going to move A low to uh, X, save it, and then we're going to basically prompt the user to do that exact same thing again. Okay, something. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to read that character. And that previous command, by the way, was prompting the user the exact same message to enter a second value. Enter up 21H. We're going to subtract uh, the strip, the ASCII from it. And we're going to move the Y from A low. Uh, we're going to move from A low into the Y. And then we're going to basically be outputting the message that says your product is. And then we're going to move a, um, X into AX. And then mole. Okay. So mole is the new thing that you see here. And uh, basically what it does is AX is hard coded in there to do that. So it's hard coded, coded inside the processor's architecture to do multiplication with the AX. So we're moving X inside AX and then multiplying Y by the AX. Or multiplying the AX by Y, whichever way you want to think of it. Okay, then we basically move from the AX, it's stored inside the AX, and we move the AX into the D-low so we can output it, and then we're going to um, basically add back the ASCII so we get the right character, and then we're going to out say a DOS box, we want to output a character, and then we're done.
so that should be correct there and uh, like I said let me go back here go through it so uh, we're entering we have two uh, we have two messages inside the data and two variables that are both words 16 bits each um, basically we're creating a main proct we're loading the, the data into the data segment we're outputting the message to um, enter in a value then we are pulling in a character subtracting the ASCII storing that uh, saving that data there uh, outputting the message again and then uh, we're pulling in another variable here and uh, we're calling DOSBox here stripping the ASCII saving it now we're saying your product is here by outputting message 2 it says product is and then we're moving X into AX and then we are multiplying AX by Y and then we're moving that from the AX to the DL uh, to the data segment low data registry and then uh, we're adding that ASCII back and then we're um, letting DOS box jumping back to DOS and then we're ending this and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start that alright so we're gonna do our normal thing we're gonna say uh, masm mul dot e should be fine there okay So now, like I said previously, we're going to work on this next, but we can only have values underneath less than 10. It cannot have two decimal places. It cannot have two digit places. So we're going to do 3 times 3 is 9. Bam. It works perfectly. Not a problem. 3 times 3 is 9. All right. So let's go ahead and give it a try to see if we could get uh, 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 divide to work here. Okay, so going back into mole, all you have to do here for divide is division uses um, the AX and the DX. So what you want to do is uh, here, where are we at? There it is. Is right before you divide is you want to move zero. You want to zero out the DX because there's garbage in there and it'll throw off your... Um, It'll throw off your computation, so zero out the DX, so you don't get any garbage. And then divide it by Y, because you already have it moved in there. Yeah, you sh that should work. So let's say we're going to divide 4 by 2. Should be 2. Okay. I'm going to that again. Uh, link. Four by two answers. Uh, so it says product, but of course you know that we just changed it to divide. So the the what is that? The quotient. The quotient is two. So we're dividing four by two. We can do that again. Let's say eight by four is two. Works perfect. So let's take a look at that again one last time, and I'll go ahead and sum that up for you. All right. So here uh, you have everything exactly the same. Divide, you want to zero out the DX. So you can use a larger number by pushing stuff inside the DX and inside the AX and be able to divide it. But like I said, the registries have, have trash inside the RAM because it basically sets a re it has, a, has trash in there. So um, you want to zero out all that trash. You want to get rid of it. And then you want to divide by Y. Yeah, so uh, in multiply, the only difference is you get rid of these, uh, this one here, and you turn this into a multiply. So uh, you don't need it here. But if it's a larger character, I think it pushes it into the DX. But we're not worried about that. But the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to do more than just having two digits. We're going to learn how to intake more than that and output more than that. All right. Well, that might be the next tutorial, might not. I'll have to see what I'm going to do. All right, so this has been Stephen from Legit Tech Tutorials. I thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please, please subscribe for more videos like it in this series and other series as well. If you have any questions, email me. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, peace.